Hello, I'm Dr. Tsai, the acupuncturist and the herbalist, of course the artist. So today I'm going to continue to create more arts and to create more arts medicine. Use arts as medicine. The reason is uh, why they can use as medicine. See medicine, with the, especially with the Chinese medicine, this is about the yin and yang and uh, depends on how much yin you have, how many, how much yin you have. So that's why I see traditionally uh, more, most of the work they create from the eyes is more yin. So that's why I want to blindfold it. So take away the eye part. So just a cl a cl you know, a create the art from the inside. So forget the eyes. So find, I find it very, very relaxing and uh, stress-free. So let me uh, going to perform. So when I'm going to perform my car, so they are not going to, I'm not going to talk because they are not, they, you cannot hear what I'm talking. So after that, I'm going to explain to you a little bit more. Thank you. Okay, I think I have enough for that. And uh, let me see, I think I have this garbage can somewhere. Okay, forget that. So let me throw some color again. Okay, this is a liquid. And we have some others, more color. Okay. Okay, so I still will put some magazine there to see how the things go. I think I have enough for today. See, let me see what's going on. Ho oh, oh. ho. Oh my god. I have some color put under my shoes now. Okay. Anyway, it's a very interesting. Very interesting. Alright. So that's a very, very cool actually. And um, so because, see, I get a little delay for making my live video because they you can see the color so they get you know they take a long time to dry so that's why I skipped it last time and to perform so uh, thank you guys for very patient so of course I'm not gonna stop to do the live performance depends on the, how much I can do because I uh, this studio, I only waiting for them to get dry, because uh, otherwise uh, they're very wet, so very messy. 
that's just a part of the work, but I don't mind that. Only thing is if they're not dry, the paintings cannot be finished. So anyway, thank you for watching. Uh Let desires go. Let conflicts go. Let ideas go. Let the fiction of life and death go. Just remain in the center, watching. And then forget that you are there. 11. Does one scent appeal more than another? Do you prefer this flavor, or that feeling? Is your practice sacred and your work profane? Then your mind is separated from itself, from oneness, from the Tao. Keep your mind free of divisions and distinctions. When your mind is detached, simple, quiet, then all things can exist in harmony, and you can begin to perceive the subtle truth. 12. Do you wish to inhabit sacred space? To have the respect and companionship of the highest spiritual beings? To be protected by the guardians of the eight powerful energy rays? Then cherish the integral way. Regard these teachings with reverence, practice their truths, illuminate them to others. You will receive as many blessings from the universe as there are grains of sand in the river of timelessness. 13. The tiny particles which form the vast universe are not tiny at all. Neither is the vast universe vast. These are notions of the mind, which is like a knife always chipping away at the Tao, trying to render it graspable and manageable. But that which is beyond form is ungraspable, and that which is beyond knowing is unmanageable. There is, however, this consolation. She who lets go of the knife will find the Tao at her fingertips. 14. Can you dissolve your ego? Can you abandon the idea of self and other? Can you relinquish the notions of male and female? short and long, life and death? Can you let go of all these dualities and embrace the Tao without skepticism or panic? If so, you can reach the heart of the integral oneness. Along the way, avoid thinking of the oneness as unusual, exalted, sublime, transcendental. Because it is the oneness, it is beyond all that. It is simply the direct, essential, and complete truth. 15. To the ordinary being, others often require tolerance. To the highly evolved being, there is no such thing as tolerance, because there is no such thing as other. She has given up all ideas of individuality and extended her goodwill without prejudice in every direction. Never hating, never resisting, never contesting, she is simply always learning and being. Loving, hating, having expectations, all these are attachments. Attachment prevents the growth of one's true being. Therefore the integral being is attached to nothing and can relate to everyone with an unstructured attitude. Because of this, her very existence benefits all things. You see, that which has form is equal to that which is without form, and that which is alive is equal to that which rests. This is the subtle truth, not a religious invention, but only those who are already highly evolved will understand this. 16. Most of the world's religions serve only to strengthen attachments to false concepts such as self and other, life and death, heaven and earth, and so on. Those who become entangled in these false ideas are prevented from perceiving the integral oneness. The highest virtue one can exercise is to accept the responsibility of discovering and transmitting.